photography. A lot of smugglers use coded slates, so it comes in handy. Well, hey there. You can't be that bad, can it? Aquila's one of the oldest cities. I'm great at all this hounding my regular customers, trying to get them to persuade me to sell. Excellent. I don't do payment plans or lines of credit, and I don't sell to shady individuals. If you can handle that, your money's welcome here. Don't make me regret this now. stuff, those bandits from the Shaw Gang. This can be a dangerous place. Best to carry a reliable piece. Just so you know, keep it to self-defense. Take a look around. I get all kinds in here. Rangers, traders, locals, tourists. They all come to me for supplies. How about I just show you instead of tell you?
you're looking for a sidearm, I recommend the Laredo's firearms. Happy you're here, Captain. Corporation in the settled systems. Word is the Borealis, you know, the DJ? Well, she's moping around because she lost something important. Bye, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. <laughs> well, I don't know. Stuff things in your pocket and run. Rob me at gunpoint. Shoot me in the head. <laughs> I've survived on Neon far too long to take any chances. My store, my rules. If you don't like it, Talk to Styx. He runs our, um, complaints department. <laughs> That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating Styx like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. You'd do that? Huh. Okay. Maybe I misjudged you.
Huh. I'm glad you see sticks is more than just a possession. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the abside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the sticks. I've got more than you can handle. It's no big secret. I lost it fighting on the Freestar side during the Colony War. I was a ground pounder. Slogged it out in the trenches with the troops. And did pretty well, too. Until an EM weapon took out our transport. They pulled me out of the wreckage, but the damage was done. <laughs> Honestly, I, I consider myself lucky. Most of the other soldiers died in the If you've got the credits, Sticks, how's this month looking? I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. I'm asking for the sales report. Understood. Take a chimera. Nah, thanks. I'll have that ready for you shortly. That old Cyclops knows what's good. Thanks, Micah. You like art? Then you should see the tag job on the robot and neon tacticals. My best work. <laughs> that Cyclops should be thanking me. I dressed up his toy real nice, gave him a total makeover. He's lucky that's all I did after what that thing did to my crew. Yeah, I do. And I'll make art out of your guts if you step out of line. And what makes you think I will? True. You don't want to fight a war on two fronts. Huh. That makes a lot of sense. I think about it. All right, all right. The Cyclops is one thing, but I know better than to mess with you. Besides, that Model A shredded my gun arm. I can't aim straight, let alone paint. Here, you give this to that freak and tell him we're even. Get lost, off-worlder. Trackers Alliance. Neon's Premier Cellar. 
Good work. I hope you made him squirm. <laughs> Good. I bet that punk shit his pants when you threatened him. Thanks. Styx is gonna get a new paint job, a coat of wax, the works. He's gonna look brand new. Oh, and here. For your trouble. The other day, Styx, uh, I bet a minor is going to resolve. I'm sorry. I did not understand your query. Please rephrase. Yeah, I didn't get her either. Not at first. But then I realized. Industries, can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Great. Well, Good luck, then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. I'm a little busy right now. Great. A full spacesuit. Corporate environments aren't that toxic. Have a seat. All right, just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? It's good to see you're familiar with and appreciate our work here. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? A bold answer, and hopefully one with truth behind it. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? It'll take a lot more than a fancy resume to reach that high, but I can appreciate a lofty goal. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period? Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. What is it?
Tevin and Astis has run into some trouble. Word to the wise, you don't want to. Is a Lilia? Hi there. Welcome to Terra Brew. How can I help you? Oh, the reunion order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that permission? I got fired is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody?! So you already know her? I bet that's how you got hired in the first place! Through your damn connections! And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands! Oh, Believe me, it's either you or me! You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what! You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. Maybe this doesn't have to get out of hand. Look, at some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this, that, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple-checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. As technicians, we handle prep and post work. Beginnings and ends. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Good answer. And the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention, and we'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations, you've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Of course, we believe in risk versus reward here. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. 
Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. I think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but terrible it is. Terrible would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terrible within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. <sighs> Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? <laughs> yeah, <sighs> that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So, any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. If only pleasure was the word for it. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Let's hope your best is good enough. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, it's always nice to fit names to faces. And we rarely see most of the operatives around here. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up. People in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Kelt Corp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. <sighs> 
Hardly. This is the standard run-of-the-mill tactic we've come to expect from them. We can't allow them to win the contracts, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Kelcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. <laughs>